Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back again with another episode of Checkers the Khajiit Goes to the Elder Scrolls Online, this time still more or less in Elsewhere, in Canarthi's Roost, for episode 24, and I will turn it over now to Checkers the Khajiit. Okay, we are here with Gatwin, we must go into this place. So must... Born these. Okay. Archers always think they are so smart. Okay, nightstand here. Pattern, Kajit cushion, moonstone. Orns are empty. Floor has catacombs. Okay, we go. There is Gatwin. Here is something. Completed, enter the temple catacombs. Oh, here is someone who did not do well. Rorelian's observation number one. Temple of the Morning Springs, observation number one. This catacomb is filled with corpses, and not one of them, a Khajiit. Each appears to have died in battle, yet special attention and care was provided in preparing their bodies. Whoever constructed this place must respect death immensely, even that of their enemies. Oh, here we have thing. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 What we have? Maybe we do... Here. And then... We do here, and then we do this, and then finally we do that. Down. But before we proceed, I need to speak with you. Okay. Hello. When we entered the temple, that skeleton made it sound as though Aurelian was in grave danger. I won't let vague threats keep us from my master, but Aurelian is too important to lose. Perhaps we should think before we act. Why is this Aurelian so important? The Dominion relies on Aurelian for his sound judgment. He's taught countless students the ways of Magicka, including some of the Queen's own advisors. His role in the invasion is paramount for our future success. If anything were to happen to him... Okay, this one will do what he can to protect Rorelian. Thank you. Sure. We should keep moving. Okay, we go. We found the morning stone on that pedestal. Wait, that's Rorelian. What's well, that he doing was easy. Up there? You there. Mage. He is that large and you still don't listen. Perhaps you need a few alterations. There was a time when the sound of Aldor's voice commanded the terror of thousands. That was when you were dreaming. Who is this Uldor? Why, I am. I'm Uldor. I see your dominion teaches you nothing of my people. I shouldn't bemoan your ignorance. You fools ended centuries of captivity when you removed the Morning Stone. What is the Morning Stone, exactly? Never mind that accursed blue rock. I'm about to restore my wardrobe to its full glory. Behold this Rorelian fellow. Such vibrancy. I could use more like him, but one must be willing to run through a bolt of silk for the finest coat. Just free Rorelian now, weird Uldor. Oh, I believe I'll keep him. At least until my summoning ritual wears him through. You see, undead are all so... beige. But I'm willing to adorn myself with hundreds of tawdry outfits in order to collect the more colorful garb at Eagle Strand. This one cannot let you do that, strange Uldor. 
then drown in a sea of bones. <laughs> well, yes, certainly. Just came from whole campaign of necromancers. Leave Aurelian for now. Truly, we you frighten. We have to the summoning ritual. I'll destroy the bone piles if you keep the undead at bay. Okay, sure, why not? It'll take a moment to weaken the circle. Keep the undead away from me. Okay. Did, did you want to do something or you just prefer to stand there? Maybe she already did. Rolelian's observations too. We found the water source, something locals call the Morning Stone. It's a wondrous orb, rippling with elemental power. I can sense its connection to the water rushing beneath our feet, surging to the central ruins. I hope Ilsil understands why we must proceed with caution. Apparently not. Ilsil's journal. Rorelian wants the discovery of the Morning Stone for himself, but I'll be a thrice-shorn troll if I let him steal my glory yet again. While he ventures into the ruins, it'll be a simple matter to remove this magnificent artifact and return it to Eagle Strand. Its potential is simply astounding. Think of what endless fresh water could do for an army. One could control the weather itself. Okay. Or make water go sideways, you know, very exciting proposition. You okay. We do thing. We do. Okay, she did. So we go this way. Okay, that was fun. Okay, got when we have one more. One last circle. We can do this. We must do this. So, help my master. I'm right behind you. Okay. What is this sound? Uldor, get out of my body now! Silence! None command, Uldor! What is this sound? Is it Uldor? Oh, may maybe. Okay. We go here to confront Uldor. Okay, what we have here? Big bats, traps, Uldor, I command you by the tears of the two moons, return to your prison. Ah, lost and dusty journal. Simcor wagered a week's salary that I couldn't spend the night in this place. Nearly swallowed his whiskers when I said I'd do it. The tomb is sealed behind me. Ally, yes? Thought I heard someone's Please voice. Disable these traps so she can make it to us safely. But it had to be Simcor trying to get out of the bed. It's a little scary down here. I lit a few candles, but that just made the shadows leap around. It doesn't matter. I'll have the last laugh when I'm chugging double rum bought with Simcor's coin. What was your question? Oh, thank you, friend. I need a moment to recover. If you wouldn't mind disabling the traps, Gathwin can make it through without fear of perforation. Oh, okay, we do. Better? Despite all my knowledge, Uldor's influence over me was absolute. I'd be little more than a puppet without your timely intervention. Are you okay? Oh, only my pride. But we have a more pressing matter. As Uldor sensed my thoughts, I could sense his. He plans to overwhelm and enslave Kanathi's roost with an undead horde by the next dawn! How is this possible? Uldor was a powerful Malmo wizard who learned to separate his spirit from his body, even in death. He can wear hundreds of mindless forms at a time. Thankfully, I know his weakness. What is this weakness? The Morning Stone's endless water supply tied Uldor's spirit to his body. When Eelsil removed the Morning Stone from the temple, he set Uldor free. Once again, 
Eelsil's sloppy methods nearly caused the death of me. How do we restore Uldor's prison? These gems focus the Morningstone's power. Uldor had me remove them from his tomb. I propose Gathwin recovers the Morningstone from Eagle Strand. Meanwhile, we restore Uldor's prison. <laughs> Simple enough. Okay, what does the Morningstone do? The centerpiece of this old Khajiit temple. After Uldor's reign of terror, the Sea Elves gave it to the Khajiit so it would become the key to his prison. Mm, is this one in danger of being worn? No, which is why we must be the ones to enter the tomb. After he saw you through my eyes, he seemed convinced that to wear you would destroy him. For some reason, he feared you. If he can't affect me, well, then this one should enter the tomb alone. No, we must enter the tomb together. Though he can't wear you, he could quite easily obliterate you with his magic. Only by splitting his attention can we hope to defeat him. Okay, this one is ready to face Uldor. Master, I know what you're planning. I won't let you throw your life away. Aurelian's plan is to let Uldor possess him. They'll both be sealed in the tomb forever. But it doesn't need to be this way. Seal me inside. Why should you take your master's place? Aurelian is too important for the Dominion to lose. Besides, we both saw how the summoning ritual weakened my master. Okay, well... Not sure about this. Please, help me convince Aurelian. I will gladly seal myself in the tomb to spare my master. Uldor is a threat to all on this island. Okay, this one will seal you in the tomb. Thank you. I should prepare myself. Okay, this one is ready when you are. Catherine, I beg you to reconsider. You're too important, Aurelian. If the Dominion lost you, we would be lost. Then I'll recover the Morning Stone. Farewell, my dearest friend. Farewell, Aurelian. Okay. Come on. You have it bad, huh, girl? Well, we go. Okay, lockpick. You! I won't wear a poisoned outfit. Okay, you do your thing. Although this one will go. My master was a fool to doubt your power. I'll help you wreak the vengeance you seek, if you allow me. Such a spectacular willing garment. Very well. Okay, don't shoot Gathwin. I can't fight him for long. Quickly, place the tears of the two moons in the pedestals. You mean like this? Fool. This pedestal I'll here? Turn your friend to ash. Stay away from those pedestals. Okay, we go. And one last one. You worthless rag! This tomb can't hold me forever. <laughs> this one dances on you, Uldor. Dances. Hello, Gatwin. The water weakens, Uldor. But I can't hold him for long. Quickly, go to Aurelian. Tell him I did what must be done. What about you? I know Uldor will keep me alive. He far prefers a living form to the dead. Strange. How can I know this? I feel him stirring within me. Help Aurelian restore the Morning Stone. Go! While you still can. Farewell, Gatwin. You are very brave. This one goes. Hello. We've restored the Morning Stone. But if you're here, then Gathwin is lost to that monster. Gathwin saved everyone on this island from Uldor. You speak truth. And yet the young should never die for the old. It is the singular travesty of war. What will you do now? 
I need to record everything that happened here. Uldor's skill troubles me. Without further study, the Dominion will bear no defense against his strange capabilities. And what about Gatwin? I've rarely encountered a creature of Uldor's power. There may be a way to separate him from Gathwin, but it will take much time and study. She's not just an apprentice, she's my friend. If there's a way to free her, I swear I'll find it. Okay, good luck to you, Ruralian. Please don't think me ungracious. Without your aid, I'd still be under Uldor's influence. <laughs> I won't forget. I can open a portal to the temple courtyard if you wish. That would be nice, thank you. There you are. I'm afraid it won't remain open for long. Okay. Everyone rushing, we go. Okay. Whoa. So many ghosts. Hello, ghost. Oh. Well, they are friendly ghosts. Hera Gaith. Don't mind, Ilring. We're together again. And it's all thanks to you. Okay. I've been waiting forever to spend time with my darling. A little privacy? Oh, sure. Sorry. This one did not mean to intrude. We'll go. Lugnik. Hello. I shouldn't be able to see you. It looks like the Morning Stone brought the spirits out in the temple courtyard. Can you hear me? This one can hear you. I'm not sure how to tell you this, or even if you'll understand, but you died at Uldor's hands. Mm, no, actually, this one did not. Do you notice how you seem different than most everyone around here? It's a harsh truth, but I hope hearing it allows you to go to a better place. If you allow it, I'll pray for RK to help you move on. Mm, you do realize you are actually the one who is dead, yes? I knew you wouldn't understand. The dead never realize they're dead. Walk with RK, spirit. Okay, goodbye. Well, if nothing else, they are at least funny. There was something going on behind this place when we looked before. Well, there are boxes, can look. Ginkgo. Lemon. Oh, there is something. Oak. Okay. There, there is this something pointing. Sound. What is this sound? Oh, this sound. Is the sound of the thieves trove. 35 gold lockpick course chalk and some kind of treasure map and things and stuff eye for eye details okay sure whatever more oh you are picking the body of someone you have stolen okay maybe no more oh butterfly Okay, what do we have here? Not. A young Khajiit wandered into the camp last night, said he is looking for Hazak. If anyone asks where I am, I'm dragging this fool off to Hazak's hollow. He'll see the boss before his head and body parts ways. We spotted Aldmeri on the beaches. If you need me, send a runner up around the hill above Hazak's hollow. Double back to the dock near the entrance. Okay, well... Hazak's Hollow apparently is over there somewhere. Ooh, butterfly. Hello, butterfly. We go. Ooh, next butterfly. Many butterflies here. Ooh, sea got wing this time. Ooh, and rune stones. Good, good. Okay. We go. We go. Butterfly? Mm-hmm. Oh. Where do you go? Where do you go? Hello? Uh oh. That was... That was very strange. Maybe too many butterflies. Have you seen Kari? He's missing. Who is Kari? Zulana's son. When his father succumbed to Skuma, 
Skari swore vengeance upon the smugglers responsible. This one tried to stop him from going by himself, but Gari wouldn't listen. This one found a note about a young Khajiit taken to Hazak's hollow. Yes, that's Gari. Please, you must find him. It's all Zulana has left. This one will find your son, Zulana. Zulana heard many things in Mistral. Hazak leads the Skuma peddlers within a nearby cove. Its entrance is on the beach across from Cat's Eye Key. Who is this Hazak? A vile skuma peddler. Hazak destroys families and brings great warriors low with his filth. Oh, okay. What happened to your husband? He hurt his back in a terrible accident. He took skuma to relieve the pain, and it came to both sustain and enslave him. After years of its youth, he withered to a shell of his former self. And what about your son? Gari hasn't learned that fear and hatred cloud judgment. Zulana said he would be foolish to seek revenge, but he's a boy, and they have more important things to do than listen to their mothers, huh? Okay, this one will go try to find your boy. Going to be like that, is it? Well, can get four wet. Whoa. Here is something. Someone. Gary. Be gone, bandit. I'll never join Hazak. This one is not a bandit. Your mother asked me to rescue you. Mother sent you? It is good she can't see me trussed up like a sheep. Uh, the bandits were more challenging than I expected. She could have killed a few when she scouted the cave, but no, I must always be tested. What do you mean, she scouted the cave? You thought her a poor mewling widow? Ha! Mother is not entirely what she seems. She warned me to wait and watch before approaching Hazak's Hollow. I have much to learn. What is going on here? I sought to avenge my father's memory, but was captured by bandits. Mother saw my capture and sent you here to assist. Next, you untie me and we kill Hazak for his crimes. Simple, you see? Okay, but this one came here to free you, not to kill Hazak. Then when you free me, I'll fight Hazak alone and will likely die. Hazak will poison more families with skooma, another will swear revenge, be captured by bandits, and wait for death in this cave. Or we can kill Hazak. Still simple, yes? Okay, okay, kid. This one will help you kill Hazak. Good. Now, untie my bonds so we can look for the key to Hazak's lair. Swish slash poke, done. Okay, we go. Taking I'm the corn. Free. And in your death. Well, this one is not free, but still fairly easy. Goodbye, bandit. No one here is living. We open chest. Get key. Okay, come on, kid. We go. There is much screaming over there. Whoa. Well, Hazak. You don't have the will for this. I do come. You are amusing. Hey kid, don't mind this. Okay. Hazak is gone. Bookcase. Bookcase. Backpack has ooh, lemon flower matzo some things we will look where did kid go? Return to Zulana. Okay, okay, we go. Did you meet the new commander? Oh 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 no 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 no
is still funny. Never, never stops being funny. Okay. Can we go down? No. No, no, we can only slowly, very, very slowly. Very, very slowly we swim. Slowly. Well, their curtains need work. Hello, Zulana. What have you done? Mm, Kari and this one killed Hazak. And you have done what I could not. My husband now rests with the ancestors, free of the Skuma enslaving him. Hazak was your husband? Kari killed his own father? When Hazak embraced Skuma with more affection than he did with me, I gave him every chance to claw his way back. But Skuma peddlers are slavers of the mind itself. When Hazak turned his addiction into enterprise, there was no return. How did you kill all these smugglers? Poisoned arrows to stun, a blade to finish. I spoke to each as they lay frozen on the dock, before adding crescent moons to their throats. These unclawed shaveskins had it coming for pulling Kari's father into their fold. Why did you not help kill Hazak? I noted the ardor of the moons within you and sent you to aid Kari. That is help, yes? But I would know. How did my son fare against Hazak? Did he fight bravely as he was taught? Kari fought well. We brought Hazak down together. Then Kari learns to stand with allies rather than on his own. He shows me he is ready. With time and training, he will honor his ancestors. Who are you, exactly? Ajir Trajijazeri. We justly take by force. At Two Moons Dance, we study the thin line between justice and vengeance. We train so we will always know the difference. Enjoy your life, Walker. You never know when those you love can slip away. Thank you, Zulana. Take care. Goodbye. Gari, you did what mother could not. I did what I knew to be right, to restore our family's honor. You've proven worthy of our name. Do you understand? Yes, Mother. I'll dance beneath the two moons, as you've taught me. Then we must complete your training. Oh, you could train this one to do that. Okay, we go. But perhaps also we will bring journey to an end. We are... Kamal does not wish to go through through hallway. We will bring Journey to an end, pick up again next time, and perhaps see Don't what else. Her nice. Was that you, Skiver? See what else we can find. This one hopes you found our journey entertaining and maybe even a little bit informative would like to invite you to subscribe to checkers the human and thank you kindly if you are already subscribed would also like to invite you to like and to share if you so desire most of all though would like to ask you to please please take care